Friendly neighborhood clout giant here. Here's Tasha's culture and everything in under three minutes. 192 pages, four chapters. Character options. Orcs and kobolds with no negative ability scores. Class feature variants. Most got in, some changed, some new. New confirmed classes. Armor. College of Creation. Circle of Stars. Fey Wanderer. Psionic Soul. Noble Gene. Likely Candidates. Path of the Wild Soul. Path of the Beast. Twilight Domain. Unity Domain. Circle of Wildfire. Rune Knight. Psy Knight. Way of Astral Cell. Way of Mercy. Oath of the Watchers. Swarm Keeper. Phantom. Phantom? Soul Knight. Clockwork Soul. Lurker in the Deep. Order of Scribes. Reprinting Impossible Adjustments to Order Domain. Circle of the Spores. College of Eloquence. Oath of Glory. Blade Singer. Artificer Class. Base Subclass. New Subclass. Armorer. And New Artificer Infusions. New Feats. The Lineage System. Tools in the game to create a truly unique character. New rules options that allow you to take some of the traits in your character race. Modify those traits so that you can better reflect the story you have in mind for your character. Disconnect it from any of the race options in the game. Disentangle ability score modifiers, proficiency, and languages from a person's species or culture. Spells and magic items. Spells. Nine conjuration spells with variant summoning options that can be upcasted. Confirmed. Summon aberrant spirit. Summon celestial spirit. Summon fiendish spirit. Possibly. Summon bestial spirit. Summon elemental spirit. Summon shadow spirit. Summon fey spirit. Summon undead spirit. New spells. At least one new summoning spell. Tasha's caustic brew. Tasha's otherworldly guys. Magic items. Spell branch. A tree limb spell casting focus for druid and warlocks. Spellbook for wizard that seems like a romance novel but actually carries a bunch of illusion spells. Most likely seven extra planar shards that suit a different sort of sorcerer. They have renewable charges and allow the sorcerer to keep some magic in reserve. Some of them are spell focuses and spell books that let you cast certain spells with charge. Artifact. A terracotta deck. Capable of trapping spirits. Demonomicon of Igwil. Make your demon a simp. Mighty servant of Lyco. A demonically possessed mecha. Crook of Roe. Repel, banish, and whack infernal beings. A Baba Yaga themed artifact. Magic tattoos, they do things. Possibly the machine of Loom the Mad, also a mecha in the enemy of Luko. Group patron. Fleshed out the group patrons for Eberron so that it works for any D&D setting by providing broad categories that are not Eberron specific. Confirm. The party members are able to give each other advantage on checks a certain number of times a day if they have a group patron. Confirm. Academic institution is one of these categories. Tools for dungeon masters. Rules for sidekick classes and rules for playing as them. As easy to dive into as possible and a chill, easy D&D experience. Experience. Those sidekick class options are going to be a great path for some players to walk down to have that kind of simple experience. New rules for magical environment use during adventures and how these sort of phenomenon can function in a campaign. Confirm. Eldred Store, Mirror Realm, Mimic Colony, Enchanted Springs, Unearthly Roads that fold space like a wormhole, Magic Trees, Magic itself has started to unravel, Haunted by Goat, Puzzles, Freed, Ready to Go Puzzles that can be dropped into almost any adventure, partnered with Lisa T, who wrote all the puzzles that appear in the puzzle section of the Dungeon Master's Guide. <laughs> That's all, folks.